arise and fight for us, so There are battles that we cannot fight. There are mountains that stand before us that we cannot fight. But it's only you that can fight for us. It's only you that can make the mountain disappear. Only you can take away the yours. Only you can take away the thing that fails us. Father, we trust in you. That is why we want to lift you up. That is why we want to praise you. Because you heal us. Because you deliver us. Because you restore us. Because you give us the strength. Your name will be always glorified. We will always be praised. Because you are our God. That is why David says. And I'll lift up my eyes into the mountains. Where does my hope come from? Truthfully, the mountains cannot save us. Our people cannot heal us. Our things are not healing. But it's only you, Lord. Only you can give us our hope. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Father. Hear our prayer. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. At this very moment, our time is gone. Before we get seated, if your bag is far away from you, where there is a tie, your offering, I'm going to request you to get hold of it because we are going to give in the house of the Lord and then we shall start listening to the word of the Lord we've been blessed today we are going to hear the word from Pastor Josephine and I believe that this word is going to do us well God is going to do us well in the name of Jesus our pastor was and able to come in time. But he said he will be coming a bit late. Maybe let us believe that he will be in this place. But even if he does not appear, we want to bring greetings from him that he is doing well. And he has sent greetings to you in the name of Jesus. If you need a tight envelope, I want you to lift up your hand wherever you are. Those ladies are doing their work very well. And you'll be able to get that Otherwise, email. Get hold of your and the type to be where your masoga mokama. Just lift it up before the Lord. As I pray, you also pray. Because that seed or gift that you are giving, you're giving back to the Lord from whatever he has given you to show that you are honoring him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I want to thank for this people who have brought something before you. They are thanking you out of what you have brought. Bless them, my Father. Whoever has brought his seed, whoever has brought his offer, Whoever has given a tithe, may you enrich his table. In the mighty name of Jesus, there are those who wanted to give, but we are able to give. Help them to get something to bring into your house. Because it was written, do not come into my house empty handed. No one is wishing to come into my house. Help them to discover what has been holding there in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Come and give. Those who are far, please, you can use that basket up there. Those who are down here, please use this front basket. And may God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want you to prepare your heart because God is going to speak to you. And I believe the word is going to do us well. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord for today. Thank you for coming. Thank you for putting your life in this place. David said, 
that I felt joy when, they, when I was told to go in the house of God. There is no other place good like coming in the place of God. That is the most important thing in God. If you believe God, the best place is the house of God. All other things can disappoint you. But when you are in the house of the Lord, you can never make a miss. You came in this place. I know you are going to leave this place with a miracle. Because our God is already in this place. And our God never rests. His work is to always be on duty. He's always on duty. When you come in the house of the Lord, expect a miracle. Don't be there not expecting a miracle. In the house of the Lord, it is full of miracles only. And more especially in the miracle celebration center. It is a place of celebration. It is not a place of weeping. There are tears of joy. Someone can cry. And you think this person is crying. As Jesus was being, and they say he's crying. But he wasn't crying. He was seeing the weakness that was in their hearts. Pity parting them. But for us who came here, we have to go with the miracle. We've been with a message pastor that has been preaching. I know we've been here. When you come in the house of the Lord, please make sure that you go something. Don't just get out and you leave them outside there. It is all in vain. But please make sure that you keep something. Keep something that you'll be feeding on. Our God is very faithful. And those who trust in him works for them. Do not leave them here in church. You'll not be faithful. A faithful one does what he has been told. Amen. Praise the Lord. We bless the Lord today. I'm Pastor Josephine. You made the master of I'm standing before you tonight. Not because of power. But by the spirit of the living God. He gives us strength. Me. I used to fear people so much. But the Holy Spirit. I if you can make me stand before this one. I give you the glory. I couldn't my dear. I used to fear so much. That God is powerful. The Holy Spirit is powerful. I bless the Lord for my pastor. My pastor said this. God has done me well. To know my pastor, Prince Edward Matthew. My pastor, wherever you are, I love you so much. I love you so much, pastor. From the bottom of my heart. There are things that pastor has told me. That I couldn't do. Because of the anointing on him. Moses had men. He was told to choose other men that will stand with him. Moses chose. But God was with those people. What they used to say, always was done. Now he has granted us the grace. When you're in this place, expect a miracle. Expect serving God. Expect loving God. All your life. We've been in the scripture. In Matthew. In Matthew. Chapter 27. The curtain got torn. Uh-huh. Pastor was teaching us about the word crying. The word crying causes things to come down. Great things that you've never seen. That you don't expect. Not crying for bad. There are people who cry for men. Because the man went. That is not You anything. can miss that person forever. You may be crying for a wife. 
We had a, a, a gentleman. He had a friend. But the friend put him in the door. Whenever he could look at that girl, he thought that he's seen God. But the girl disappointed him. This gentleman cried. He used to cry. Now for us, we thought that God has cut this gentleman. But after some time, he came. And he told us, please, have mercy. This friend that you see in this class has disappointed me. He was crying for the son. But when you are crying unto the Lord, you are not going to miss. Most of the times when I'm here in the public but I know where the tears come from. But they are not tears of birth. They are tears of the kingdom of God. I want you when you enter into this church please decide if you have come to cry to God God will already save you God will give you what you want God will deliver you pastors have been telling us that the children of Israel cried out to God and God said let me come and rescue you God rescue them do you think across things the Lord I want you to imagine when your enemies are chasing you you they made a lot of problems on the way. it was a long journey but it had problems they used to grumble each and every time but in most times when they cried out to God God always came down if you could come down in the other time the Bible says that people of this generation my friend your mother is I've told you there are many types of crimes. Maybe you come here quite for a while. Maybe you say, let me go to church. I cry out to God because of my wife. You may ask me because you brought your reason. And there is crying to God differently. Today we are going to hear about the lady called Hannah. Hannah touches me so much. Hannah had a problem. She had a problem of her co-wife. Her co-wife used to challenge her age. Like you have that situation, I cannot understand. You cannot come here without a reason. Maybe you have a reason. Maybe it, you were born with Maybe it was just Maybe it is about your clan. There are all reasons. Hannah was buried. Everyone reads about her. And everyone understands about her. But Hannah went alone. This journey of salvation. You have to go alone. Stop looking at people. And I'll go with Maria. Maybe when the Lord works for Maria. He wants to work for me. He's not like that. You cry out to God as you. And you cry out to him. When you cry out to our Lord. He hears. Hannah had a husband. And most times. He used to go to sacrifice. What was the problem taking him? Hannah was barren. Hannah wasn't giving birth. And she also had a co-wife that was her. Every time wherever she was, things used to confuse her. This barrenness confuses her. At the same time, the co-wife also changes her. 
Maybe you've been in that situation more than that God. Wa solo vinga. When God comes to solve solo them, vinga he solves them at once. That is why I love that God so much. Me, my God confuses me in something. Mixinga. He confuses me. And he says, Lord, you're so oh, great. So you can do great things like this. Hannah was crying. She went before the Lord. For that reason that she had. And Hannah cried out to God. She cried out to God. God had her. When you cry out to the Lord. You go with all your heart. Our God is very faithful. When you go before the Lord. With two hearts. Go with one heart. Hannah would have said, Let us go with my husband. But Hannah's time went alone before the Lord. And she cried out to the Lord. And she cried out to the Lord. And she cried out to the Lord. She cried out to the Lord when she was there. Her husband was there, but she never looked at her husband. And she cried out to the Lord. And Hannah made a sudden prayer that caused God to come down and make a miracle for her. What is that reason you think that is there any reason that can be more than that of God? I know there is no any reason that can be more than that. Everyone has a challenge. The Bible says that God has a challenge. Please don't despise God. through a try that you cannot afford. Everything that comes before you, my dear, you can. You can. You can. You can. I say it again, you can. Because the Bible says that there is no scripture that was given the Bible that has no power. The Bible tells us everyone that is in the Bible it has power. It can walk. It can cut. It can burn. Now, my dear, I want you to believe God. God can do great things. God can do great things. We are crying out to the Lord. When the children of Israel cried out to the Lord, God worked for them. God worked for them what they wanted. I told you that most of them. When we are coming for the Lord, let us go rumbling. Rumbling can make the Lord. If Hannah went before the Lord, grumbling, maybe the Lord wouldn't have one more. But she went before the Lord, and she cried out to the Lord. The priest was in the church. He told her, You whom? When will you stop getting drunk? My dear, the situation that happened to you, and you need to cry out to God. People who see you will see you. In a way. But when you know what is happening, and God will be ready to help you. Our God is always ready to help us. When we cry out to Him. Father has been telling us to cry out. And he said crying. When you cry out to God. God works in the Let me tell you God works. I've seen it God can work. There is no any day. That I've ever fallen before the Lord. And cry out to him. And he doesn't work. My friend who came here. When you are facing a sudden situation. I want you to try it out today. Try it God. And see whether you are not working. He's going to work for you. And people will be amazed. And you say, how has she done this? You say, how are these mentioned gentlemen done this? But when he's just crying out to the Lord. When Hannah cried out to the Lord. What I believe the husband was home. But it was the man of God. That man of God. That saw her. 
Many things challenge people. That woman is fed up. Up. We are fed up of that woman. That woman is barren. Maybe you're barren today. I don't know which barrenness that you have. But God is able. I told you cry out to God. We are going to read from the book of Psalms. And we are going to see this woman. When she cried out to God. Whether he answered or not. First Samuel. Chapter 1. From verses 12. From verse 12. From verse 12. Bwe yongele okusaba mumaso ga mukama eri ne yekanya akamwake waliwo musajja yekanya there is a man that was watching waliwo musajja yekanya ensonga yo there is a man who watches you waliwo musajja alabirira ensonga yo there is a man who takes care of your situation kana bwe yalinga ayogera when hana was speaking omusajja nakani ko kwetegereza the man started watching natunulira kana nga asaba and he looked at hana praying ne yekanya emimwaje and he looked at her lips hana was praying era kana yayogera and hana spoke mumoyogwe in her spirit emimwaje ne jito ne jito jato obera Na yeddo bozi ne ita ulikika. E mimwaje jali jogela. Ama her lips were. Na yenga tasobo la kuli ya bigambo bia akolachi. But you couldn't hear what she was saying. Now this man that was looking at her. Tasobo la kuli ya bigambo bia akolachi. Couldn't hear the words that Hannah was saying. Kuvange chizibu chali kukana. Because the problem was about Hannah. Eli cheyavalo oza anti atamide. That is why Eli thought that she was drunk. Aba ntubanji wa jia kula oza kebi ntubi. So many people who think a lot of things about him. Gawo ono wea tunuri ya kana. As this man looked at her. He saw and said this lady is drunk. I'm fed up of this woman coming to the temple while she's drunk. That is why he thought she was drunk. drunk. Na yenfu sebi ni mumeme yange. Mumaso kakatunda. Hallelujah. Amen. Waliwe bili mundayo. There are things that are in the inside of you. Umana umu ntubi hata sobo la kulaba. But a son of man cannot see. Nga biku tawanya. That disturbs you. Kana ya bie tamaso kakatunda. Hana brought them before the Lord. Mkwa nunga ngele kakubidu sango bituwa liyaba na baba. My dear don't run taking your troubles. Ono bato nana tuka kumuliangao. Before you reach at the door. Ngo mtu wakutandi kako. Now that person will be stuck. Nga kukun kumulati. That person will be talking about. Na ye katonda wafe. Our God. God is a faithful God. He listens to your situation. He looked at Hannah's situation and said, This woman has come before. She has cried out to me. And now this man is saying that she is drunk. The son of man can say everything. Please let them say. If you know the person that you are crying um, to, yo. please be steady. Get your strength. Because you are the answer and you are playing in it. Amen. Amen. God will work for you. After you stand of man, you wake up in the morning and you go and narrate your story to a person from A to Z. Narrating your story. I slept hungry. My husband left me. He got another wife. And you just put all your problems in the past. But this person is not going to go before the Lord. I want you to go before the Lord. Put a closet in your house. Miracle celebration center. When you say whenever you come, I will always stand. I will always cry out to my God. When Hannah cried out to God, his her situation. God responded to her. Your God is going to respond. I told you our God. 
you can also give and he will leave you every time he wants to give because he didn't say He uses people to always challenge you every time. Because Penina never stopped challenging Hannah. But I am pleading you. He stood before the Lord. Be like Hannah. And cry out to him. And tell him Lord. It is only you that can solve this problem. I don't have the money. These men, all these ladies of these days, they work on money. Without money, they don't work. If you go to the hospital, the doctor will ask you how much do you have. And our Jesus is not like that. When you go to the shrine, you don't have money. And our Jesus is not like that. He says, come the way you are. is our star is our star is our star he saved you in each and every situation and he cried out to the Lord and God had had answered her prayer the penina who was mocking her we don't hear anything about her anymore please don't cry to anyone there are things that are valuable that you are going to put before the Lord in the kingdom of God but they, they talked about her because of her when Dolka died the things that she did they used to speak for her every person that came they said hey this woman don't take this woman other people used to cry because of her in the kingdom of God do something that is going to glorify God. Because this summer that I'm talking about, God anointed Samuel and he remained doing great and he's being talked about in the Bible. But Hannah, please don't do things that are not valuable. Leave alone the house. Leave alone the wife. Leave alone the things that are not God will rescue you. God will work for you. If there is something that you do, when you go before the Lord, our God is able. He is able. He says, is there any God? He says, is there any God? God is able. He says, is there any God? He says, is there any God? He says, is there any God? If you cry out 
to him. Asobola. He is able. Asobola. He is able. God never fails. Bible The Bible says he never fails. Why do you make him weak? Why do you make him that is not able? Why do you give him limits? Our God has no limits. He is able everywhere. He got the keys for you to be able in everything. Now my friend don't despise yourself anymore. Saying that this is not possible. When you go before the Lord with your situation, He's going to respond. He's going to respond. He's going to change you. He's going to do great things for you. Do you need anything? God has it. Amen. Praise the Lord. This priest laughed at Hannah and said, You How many things have been spoken about you? Everyone speaks. They speak their words. But our God, that man I surrender. And most times I say he confuses me. Because I told you that the things he does are not not And after working for you, now they come in. And we used to pray for you. We used to pray for you. Hannah. Please, whoever. But when he did not say any prayer for you, they just want you to fall into the They just want you to disappear. When they see you tomorrow, they say that woman is still there. That man is still living. But our God is able. Let us believe God that that's the one thing. The one who worked for her is going to work for you today. I've told you when you come in this place, when you come in the presence of God, I don't want you to live and you leave the words here. Please have a box that packs. When you move out, you're going to use that as your weapon to the devil. The, the devil that the devil's plan to but you are going to use that weapon. And I want you to think about this. It is a weapon to you. It is a weapon to me. The priest said, You woman, you, we are fed up. Of you. Every time you come here, now your mouth are open you brought your drunkenness. You said, I poured my heart. We thank the Lord. When we come before God, let us pour our hearts before the Lord. Don't look at anyone the way Don't listen to someone praying. Pray as well. Because when they are so many they people, this person was Maybe this person is praying for Another one is praying for Another one is praying for a plot. But what a message is God. Our God is always attentive to us. Right? You cannot come here and you make a miss. Whenever you pray your heart, before God, God can answer you. That is going to do great things for us. That is going to do great things for us. You cannot be there. He cannot leave us. I told you your mother can leave you. Your father can reject you. But our God cannot leave you. And what amazes me so much is the millionaire. Why are you killing it to people that are not going to help you? He says he has all the he owns everything. Let us stop being here so Like Mary kept Jesus. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Like Mary kept Jesus. That is how your father also kept Jesus. There are things that God wants you to do that are great. But how are you going to read them? Cry out to him. Cry out to him. How are you going to read them? Cry out to him. Cry out to him. Cry out to him. There is a man called Bat Myers. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He had a cry that was making him the man. He
mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I request you to pour your heart before God. Nothing will fail to you. 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 Nothing can fail. When we trust in our God, our God does great things. He worked for Hannah. Hannah is no longer there. Now you're Hannah of today. You're going to do great things. You are going to do great things. When he stands and he does the tears that you are crying, your God sees them. He can help you. He can rescue you. He can rescue you. He can give you each and everything that you need. His hand is very powerful. I've told you stop limiting God. Our God is not limiting. You leave him and he works. And he does things that you can What your eyes and never see. What your ears and never have. That is what he's repairing to you. When you cry out to him, Hannah never knew that she's going to do that to someone. When she cried out to God, she saw it. You've never seen your co wife just your co wife in the morning and she bypasses it. She takes a word and she throws it to you. That is how Hannah was. But whenever you go before God, God is more than your husband. Pena was being supported by her husband. But Hannah never looked at the husband. She went before the Lord. I cried out to her. I want you to learn to cry out to her. People of miracle, let us not cry out to her. When we cry out to her, what we see that it can be is going to make them lie for us. What we see that things went wrong is going to make them easy for us. Whatever you see that failed in your life, that man can do it. Now, like me, I never knew that I could do But I took a plan. I looked at God. The God of Pastor Edward He did it for me. When we serve God, let us not let us God is able. There are more things that He can do. Do them for you as well. I know God is able. What did they ever expect? What he has never done in your clan and in your eyes, he's going to do it for you. Because you're different. They don't tell us the sisters of God. But they tell us about Hannah. Who cried out to God. And God never left her. God worked for her. God gave her a child. God will give you a miracle that is for rainbow. Live around those people. Of Penina. Of Penina. Of those children of Penina. Of those children of Penina. And he didn't leave her back there. But Hannah, it was heavy. My dear is going to do for you something that is heavy. And you also believe. They will tell you we pray for you. But they've never prayed for you at all. They will say we pray for you, Hannah. You've been barren. But she gave back to the child. God is going to make you give back to the child. And he will make you love like you never before. Like Hannah, the way she did. That is what I want you to make you laugh. They will call you a honey-sane person. Walking when you're laughing. They will call you a honey-sane person. But for you, you know the person who is making you laugh. Don't mind about the, what they are saying. The you that God has made you happy. You have eyes here. You can see It's very deep. I pray that may the Lord good for you. As other people cry, may you not be among them. As other people are begging, may you not be counted in them. As other people are in need, may you not be counted in those people May those other people be May you be the first. Let Jesus make you number one. 
the things that he do may God Jesus make you a child. May he make you a child that has never been known anywhere. God has never knew that there was David. Your enemy. Let him not know what is in the inside of you. Because as you are with your God, your enemy cannot come closer. Because your fire. fire that burns. If you have been here, and you you here yourself, I want you to understand it today. That you are fire that burns. Whatever you touch and it is not going to be consumed. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to look at the reason that can make us overcome. And we overcome. Sarah overcame. They have spoken about it. She powered her heart. Do you know that power the heart? Some of you pour your hearts no, for your husband. And you say, let me pour my heart for my husband. Others, you pour your hearts no, for your wife. And you say, let me pour my heart. But when it's not going to do for you anything, please pour your heart before the man that is going to save you. He cannot fail at any time. He doesn't have to and, so and is able. Yeah, you were me, me. He, she poured her heart. No, you were me, me, My friend, pour your heart. When you come before the Lord, please don't look beside you. Your eyes. If you put your eyes, if you put your eyes, if you put your and looking beside and, and, and you see the other one the way he's holding if Hannah looked at that maybe things would have happened but God looked at the way she poured her heart before the Lord let us pour our souls before the Lord our God is going to work for us he said, I'm a sorrowful woman. I'm not drunk. No wine, no beer. But I poured my heart before the Lord. If you are married, don't grumble. I wasn't grumbling in the grumbling that we always do. Her grumbling was different. Our grumbling was beyond. And in my petition, that is why I understand until now. She poured her heart before the Lord. She did not grumble saying, Lord, you don't, Lord, you don't care about me. No. The grumbling that she was making was glorifying her. I want you to grumble in the way of glorifying her. I tell him, Lord, I've never seen anyone like you. Lord, you can give me a Lord, you can give me a great song. Lord, you can enlarge me. The grumbling that she made, she wasn't in this grumbling that we already did. No. She was grumbling in the way And she said, in, in, even in my anger, my friend get anger. If Hannah never got her, she wouldn't have received that miracle. But I want us to get anger on the people. Wherever you are, just hate the devil. Rebuke him. Don't play around with him. Hannah got angry. That is why she separated from her she went alone. I'm telling you, if you go before the Lord when you are alone, you're going to overcome the But when you go with wrong motives, things are going to fight. I want us to get angry. I want grumbling that gives God the glory. Not that glorifies the But the one that glorifies God. That is how you... Uh, 
supposed to pray. Everything that you need, you're going to have. It. Everything that you desire, it is going to come to you. Everything that you desire, God is going to do it for you. No, by power, by might, by the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of Hannah wasn't alone. She had a Holy Spirit. And also the Holy Spirit. The situation that has been very hard. Please cry out to me. And tell him, Lord, you are able. She she got got that is why the person that was in the church also got to And said, we have heard that God 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 I don't think that the face is always shining. Pastor told us that when the person is crying, and when you are crying, you don't look good. That is the anger that now you have. Now I want you to also be angry with you. Maybe the devil is holding up his hands. But when you pray, God is going to do it for you. Is going to do it for you. We bless the Lord for today. Let me welcome my pastor. Let us give him a mad hand clap as he's coming. He's already in this place. But I will still continue. Let us welcome him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's clap to God. Let's clap for the servant of God. Lift up your hands and say, Jesus, teach me what it means to cry out to you. I'm not hearing you. Say it again. Teach me what it means to cry out to you. Amen. Amen. Yeah, that was a very good revelation. When Hannah cried out to God, God uh, came to her rescue. Men were not understanding why Hannah was doing that. Sometimes you have to go an extra mile. You have to accept to be misunderstood. You have to accept to go beyond where the human understanding is. So that you can touch the supernatural. Praise the Lord. Because you cannot please man and please God at the same time. There are things that will need you to come out of the comfort zone. Crying out to God. Hannah came out of the comfort zone. And he cried out to God. He left his family. Her family. And went to the temple. And he began to pray. Amazingly those who are in the temple. They were not so much into the spirit. Maybe that day. So they couldn't interpret what was going on. But Hannah was crying out to God. It's only God who understood her. There are things that only God will understand. Your friend may not understand. The people you stay with will not understand. But God only is the one who is going to understand. So quit always wanting to explain everything to people. Explain so that they understand. They have to explain why I'm going. I have to they have to understand why I'm not fast. I'm fasting. Why I'm not. Uh, I'm going for prayers. Why I'm not do, being with them. Why I'm not uh, cabosketing with them. No. There are things you just have to let them be. Allow God to take his course. In life, people will misunderstand you. But what is important is to stay focused with God. And you please God. And things are going to change. Clap your hands to Jesus. 
So look at your neighbor and tell him I will cry out to God. And I don't need to explain why I'm crying out to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's clap to God for that. Nai musanga masogange eri mukama kubanga yamanye byangi hukubira kwangi kuri mugwe munda Nai musanga masogange eri mukama kubanga yamanye byangi hukubira kwangi kuri mugwe weka Nai musanga masogange Come on. Yes. 
Kisa choku siva Bila kuita wenyabe na mi Kisa choku sana Lira kuita unyambe rangi Wangawechi sana Lira kuita unyambe rangi Wangawechi sacho kusaba Lira kuita unyambe rangi Wangawechi sacho kusaba Sunga sana. 